computers, you mentioned when computers first came out, you started doing searches and look, just wanted to see what was up with the military guys. When you would, you talked before with us about there were a couple times that you would go on your computer and do a search just to see if a body had been found or, I don't know, arson or bank robbery or whatever it is. When you were doing it, how would you, how would you do that? I mean, did you know names of everybody or would you do just no, Google would, search would, a town and, or how would you do it? I was, <laughs> with the, with the exception of the computer that you guys got from Kimberly's house, um, I generally wouldn't do it on the home computers. I had another computer that I did use for a while, but for the most part, um, it was a computer that I was planning on having around for a while. I would never do right. searches on it. The searches I did do were usually pretty generic. I would type in an area or a newspaper of an area and type in a keyword. I would never type in a specific name. Not a name. The name of the newspaper from the area? Like if it, I don't know. I would do it. Burlington Press. Right, so yeah, I would do a search of news from an area, I guess, and then pull up either a newspaper or news channel, online news, mm -hmm. type in a keyword of something, and just scroll down the different stories till I found the one I was looking okay. for. I, if I was doing it from an anonymous computer, like an airport or a library or something, I would do. I would just type in what I wanted right yeah. away and bring it up. But did you know the names? Or did you remember the names of most of the people? Yeah, well, yeah. On the major things, yeah. Okay. 